everybody. It is Weigh In Wednesday. Here is week five of my weight loss work here in 2020. I've got some exciting news to share with you. Now, we started the day with rain today here live, and honestly, I had to look back because I thought every single one of these, all five weight loss videos, I've shot indoors. That is because I looked. It has rained every single Wednesday I have shot a Weight Loss Wednesday video, which is hilarious. I have not been able to step outside and film outdoors. It's the one thing I don't have any control over. With my normal vlogs, I can simply wait a day and then wait till it's sunny. But with these updates, it has rained, so we are indoors again. And first thing when I woke up this morning, before I even got a cup of coffee, I jumped on that scale. Let's see what happened. All right, week five weigh in Wednesday time. Come on, scale. 194.4, yes! This is awesome news, this is fantastic. That means I lost a net 4.2 pounds in the last seven days. If we're looking at it week by week, week one, 209.8, then 209.2, 201.6, 198.6, and then this week, a net 4.2 loss to 194.4 with a grand total of 15.4 pounds lost in five weeks, under five weeks. This is the beginning of week five of the weight loss challenge. So I am well within my goal of losing 30 pounds in 90 days. And this is exciting. This is really fun now. I know it's gonna wear off soon. I'm gonna hit a plateau. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop losing three to four pounds every single week. I know that's gonna happen, but I'm still losing weight. I am getting fit. I am maintaining this healthy diet, and this is really, really exciting, guys. Lots of stuff I wanna share with you on my last video that I posted Sunday night, early Monday morning. I was reading through the comments and I was hearing from a lot of viewers that I hadn't heard from in a while. Some people, for some reason, had come back to that video with the projector and the boom boom and said things like, wow, Eric, haven't watched you in months. You look fantastic. I can see it in your face. I can see it in your your, your waistline and, and, and your stomach and, and it looks like you've lost weight. It looks like you've gotten healthy. And it is fun hearing from those types of people because for us, week to week, or even day to day with the other videos, I'm not seeing it so much live, but when you look back at the difference, again, I'll post the picture from the thumbnail from last week where you can actually see my midsection has completely changed into one big belly to, well, obviously not a six pack, but let's just call it a big keg. I've got a nice keg in front that's, that's actually trimming and, and it's reducing in size and I'm getting new muscle in some areas. So that is exciting to hear from you guys and I appreciate all the really kind comments on the weight loss and seeing some results. Um, I want to show you one other thing because I have noticed that in my face, in my actual face and my cheeks have changed in just four months. I'm gonna flash some pictures up on the screen, but I, I'm a little embarrassed by this because this was not long ago. First of all, I'm gonna show you my Texas driver's license picture taken in November. This was less than four months ago, okay? And then I'm gonna show what I look like today. And, and, and I honestly, I'm, I'm embarrassed by the first picture. Uh, I just, I just, my face and my cheek looks bloated, but I can see it in my face that my body is changing. My, my facial structure is even changing because of the, the changes I'm making with the, the food, the healthy choices, and the exercise. Boy, that is exciting. I have also made some changes to my diet, but before we go into that, I'm thinking of food entirely different than I have before. Whereas I used to make videos around food and it's delicious, you wouldn't like it. Look at all this food, this is crazy. You know, making videos and making food the subject of my life and overdoing it constantly. And what I think now is that I'm actually, food is fuel. That's all it is. It's fuel, okay? If you put bad fuel into your car, it might not run right, okay? You only want to put enough fuel to get to where you're going to go. There's no point in overfilling the tank. So I don't think of food as necessarily enjoying it so much anymore, whereas I need fuel to survive, to be able to move. In order to function as a human being, I'm going to need food. So that helps me make 
healthier choices and not make the bad choices and not not break my diet necessarily. You know what I mean? Also, I have reached that point in my Body for Life slash Atkins diet where I am no longer restricted to the 25 carbs a day when I was in that basically a catonic state to shock the body. Now my limit, my bar is actually raised to 50 carbs a day, which actually changes things drastically for me. It introduces a bunch of new food options for me. Still healthy options, but I've added bananas and apples back into my diet. Also, my favorite is blueberries, but blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries are, are going to be a constant snack for me. As far as veggies with dinner, no longer just broccoli, but we're doing corn and carrots also. These are all really good things for me because it changes the variety and it makes me not stuck with broccoli. So going from 25 carbs to 50, this is a good thing for me. And also, I had my first soda yesterday. I finally tried the Coke Zero Sugar. This is an awesome soda. It has zero calories. It has zero fat. It has zero carbs. And it has zero sugar. It does absolutely nothing to my body. It does not affect my diet at all. A am I crazy by saying this tastes like regular Coca-Cola? I honestly cannot tell the difference. So I am going to be drinking at least one of these a day now to supplement the sugar-free Powerade that I've been drinking once a day. So one of these and probably one healthy Coke. Is that a thing? A healthy Coke? Well, it's not, it's not bad for you anymore. Th this, this kind. Also, in my last video, several people were commenting on the fact that, Eric, at some point, you are going to have to change your entire wardrobe because all these shirts that are... Uh, too, this one's actually not that baggy. Uh, but most of my extra-large shirts that I have, and I have like 60 of them, I got more than that. I got more than two months' worth of shirts. Uh, but, you know, they're, they're going to start to get really baggy and they're not, they're not going to fit as well. So people have been saying, get ready to change out all, all, all your shirts, Eric. And, and I... Okay, I'm putting it off. I'm not going to do anything crazy drastic like that for, uh, I, I would say, at least at least until my birthday in June. In June, I may reassess everything and consider that it's time to go large shirts instead of extra large shirts or maybe even something different. I, I, I don't know yet. But, but for right now, I'm not making any drastic changes except this is my favorite leather jacket of all time. Y'all know that, right? I have had this for like 10 years. Let me put this on. Um, this ain't working no more. I'm actually really sad until I went on to eBay and I found a couple other, a couple other good NASCAR jackets that looked good that, that would actually fit me a little better, but I've actually listed this jacket on eBay. So I, I think if you understand what that means to me, I think I paid like $500 for it and I got it listed on eBay for 80 bucks and it's an extra large. So if you're a NASCAR fan, actually, you know what I'll do? I'll put the link in the video description. I think there's still like two days left. So if one of my viewers is interested in this, in this jacket that I've owned forever and taken care of, but I've grown out of, uh, yeah, go ahead and bid on it and uh, it could be yours. I'll send it to you. If you win it, it does make me sad to lose it though, but I mean, it is what it is. However, I did go on to eBay and got a new leather jacket in a large size instead. Okay, so it's a Wilson's leather jacket. It is size large. I've never worn a large jacket in my life. But I mean, I looked at myself in the mirror, I was like, wait a minute, this is actually me. This size is now me. Here, I'll, I'll even zip it up and show you. I am a large size jacket. Shocking, right? I don't usually wear them zipped up. This is, this is more my style, but the arm length and the chest and the stomach, I mean, I can even fold it over. And, man, I really lost some weight in my stomach, guys. And uh, so, yeah, this is uh, my new favorite jacket. But also, you guys got to hear this. This is funny. I went on eBay. Because this is, of course, my second favorite jacket that I wear in almost every other video. It's a Mickey Mouse bomber jacket, okay? And it, too, is ridiculously large on me, okay? I'm not getting rid of this yet, though. I'm not. But I found the exact jacket in a size large, in similar condition, and I should have it in a couple days. 
So I'm gonna have two of these. This one that's too big for me, and the new one that's gonna be exactly identical and in the right size. So again, check out the video description below if you're interested in bidding on that jacket. It could be yours. I think that's pretty much all I wanna talk about diet and weight loss check-in and everything. Um, I'm really happy with the weight loss now, 15.4. That's a number, that's a number that you can't take back unless I change my habits right now, but it's not, it's gonna keep going down. As you can hear the uh, rain picking up. <laughs> Text man. I didn't want to hold you before because I didn't want to get cat hair all over my shirt before the video. But now the video's gone. Say hi, everybody. I'm Jack's cat and I'm doing pretty good. Where's my kibbles? Kibbles, kibbles, kibbles. Anyways, hope you're doing well. I hope I beat James this week. I feel like I have. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the winner at the end of this, guys. In three months, I'm gonna have lost 30 pounds. Yes! Hope you're doing well. Uh, I am filming this place. You are going to love my next video if it stops raining. Tomorrow it is supposed to stop raining. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Bye guys.